So thank you very much for inviting me to uh, speak in this uh, uh, meeting. So I'm going to try to cover very briefly in the next 10 minutes on the point is if uh, float is the only standard for preoperative setting for a gastric cancer. And what is very important, I'm going to cover very briefly uh, uh, to you just to refresh on the uh, float for uh, data, um, because I think it's an, it's an outstanding uh, trial in, in, in matter of uh, uh, quality. So uh, this is a randomized phase three trial um, including patients not only with gastric cancer, but also gastric adenocarcinoma of the gastroesophageal uh, junction. Uh, more than 700 patients were randomized um, to a standard of care, uh, ECF or ECX, uh, perioperative uh, versus uh, float perioperative. It is in, it's very important to consider the statistical design because it's also uh, a very high quality, a power 80%, alpha error, bilateral 5%. The aim is to uh, detect superiority with a decrease in the risk of death by 24%. Uh, uh, percent. Assuming uh, 25 months, median overall survival for ECF. And that's important because in this particular trial, uh, ECF was the best uh, ECF ever working, uh, uh, overperforming over um, uh, this data. So this is the float regimen, quite intensive, uh, docetaxel, oxaliplatin, uh, every uh, two weeks. Uh, the only point to remember is that uh, 5FU was given only in 24, not in 48 hours as in other uh, regimes. But I think it's, it's a good point that most drugs are given uh, around the maximum uh, dose in this uh, combination. What is important to also to consider that this trial is a mix of several uh, type of different tumors. In fact, gastric cancer is only 44% in both arms, indicating that more than 50% of patients included in this trial were uh, junctional uh, tumors. Uh, those are the, 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 the results you know very, very well because I've been already uh, previously commented. This is a significant effect. Reduction in the risk of death, 23%. Uh, uh, statistically significant, and uh, with a 9% increase in survival at two, three, and five years, keeping uh, constantly. Another important point, when we consider new standard of care, is not so common that a new trial, a new combination, is being uh, less or similar toxicity than the standard of care. And in this particular trial, which is really uh, interesting, is that patients with the control arm, ECF, did get more nausea and vomiting, as well as thromboembolic effect and anemia. However, patients in the float regime, receiving the float schedule, got more diarrhea, infections, and um, uh, as suspected, uh, neutropenia, and uh, neurotoxicity. And uh, uh, however, if you look at the numbers on grade three, four toxicity are not very, very uh, uh, high. And when we consider the comparison between all toxic events, the global number of uh, toxic events is not different from one uh, uh, arm to the other. So this is important for a, for a standard of care, because toxicity, although different, is not much higher than um, the previous uh, recommended treatment. So in summary, for float, is um, increased rates of curative surgery, prolonged progression-free survival, better overall survival compared with standard of care, and a relative effect uh, from float was consistent across subgroups and sensitivity uh, analysis with no increases in surgical morbidity, mortality, resurgeries, or 
hospitalization times. So in ESMO, we uh, like to use the magnitude of the clinical benefit scale to assess any new treatment. So when a new drug is uh, registered, or as in, is in this case, a new uh, academic trial is providing a new standard of care, we, uh, this is the, the specific scale for curative, curative therapies. So this is concerning mainly um, uh, adjuvant or neoadjuvant therapies. And we have a scale A, B, C, depending on the magnitude of uh, this uh, uh, benefit. So we would consider only grade A if there is more than 5% improvement of survival at more than three years follow-up in mature trials, or when data are not still mature, uh, improvement in DFS, uh, if this is the primary endpoint, with a hazard ratio uh, between uh, uh, below uh, 065. So this is the, the data of the of the uh, uh, of the float four study. It's a pity that this study. Uh, is not yet published as full paper because our committee doesn't allow us to adopt a, a new standard of care in our guidelines if this is not fully published as peer-reviewed paper. But this is the assessment of the ESMO clinical practice guideline uh, committee for the FLOT4 trial. So there is more than 5% improvement of survival at three years follow-up. In fact, the study is quite mature when he was, it was reported, with a median follow-up of 43 uh, months. Median survival increased uh, by 15 months, uh, 35 versus 50 months. That's quite impressive, even despite the, f the fact that um, uh, median overall survival with ECF was uh, about 10% uh, 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 above the expected and also there is a clear increased survival over control at three years of 9%. So, but we have been discussing also on other potential uh, standard of care, and we have uh, the cross trial where no gastric cancer uh, were uh, accrued. However, there was a significant proportion of patients with junctional uh, tumors, uh, about uh, 22 to 26% depending on the uh, arm uh, we consider. So these are the final uh, data. And of course, we have to interpret this with caution because this is a mixture of patients with uh, squamous esophageal and other and adenocarcinoma histologies at different uh, uh, locations. So if we should um, consider a uh, cross for um, uh, magnitude of the clinical benefit scale by ESMO assessment, I would consider is also uh, providing more, more than 5% improvement in survival at three years of uh, uh, follow-up. In fact, median survival in the last long-term uh, uh, presentation was um, 84 uh, months, and median survival was increased by 24 months globally and 16 months in the adenocarcinoma um, uh, uh, group, which is not really different from uh, what it was achieved with the with the uh, um, flood four trial. So we we have uh, some uh, retrospective uh, uh, data. This is a multicenter propensity score matched study uh, published in Annals of Oncology last year, showing that in this uh, uh, process, when um, uh, radio chemotherapy was compared with chemotherapy, uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, there was uh, no differences in uh, three-year overall survival, although um, some prospective uh, studies are assessing the role of uh, uh, radiation in uh, different settings. This is the um, design of the neo aegis trial that has also incorporated FLOT as the best uh, type of chemotherapy for neoadjuvant um, 
uh, uh, treatment, uh, although this is uh, limited to uh, esophageal and junctional can uh, 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 cancer. And also the Top Gear uh, uh, trial, which is also assessing the role of uh, uh, radiation together with uh, peri uh, uh, operative chemotherapy, uh, including also a gastric cancer patient, is now underway. So this trial will help us in decide if uh, uh, radiation has to be uh, incorporated or not as standard of care. Thank you very much.